tribe, welcome to the HDDC HD Designs Crochet channel. I'm Heather, your host, and I'm 28 from the United Kingdom. This is my channel all about crochet and knitting and a general yarny life. Um, if you're a returning viewer, hi, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming and spending this time with me. And if you're brand new, hi, hello, and welcome. Today is going to be a little vlog just to show you an update on the projects I'm working on and I have a finished project. So, uh, when I did my flash stash, which went up a few weeks back, in this top here with all the reds and the pinks was a stack of granny squares for my just because blanket. And when I was going through the tubs, I picked up the squares and I said to you all, I don't know what I'm going to do with these, I don't really need any more blankets, I want to make garments, I wonder who I can give this blanket to. And then light bulb moment, light bulb, <laughs> light bulb moment, I realised my niece's birthday is coming up and I can make it into a blanket for her. Now as I'm on a no spend and I strictly do not add to this stash, apart from if I need something to finish a pattern I'm working on, I'm Yarndale, that's a big caveat. Um, I decided it, I had to use everything out of stash. Now, I already had, did I have five of the squares made up? And I decided I wanted to make the blanket three by four, so I needed 12 squares. Now let's show you the blanket. It's finished. I, after, on the Saturday that I recorded, flash my stash. Was it that Saturday? I went to a vegan festival and so I took these squares with me to work on um, so I made up the centres and did the add to edge for another um, four or five of them and then I did another three and so on the Saturday Sunday I had nine of the squares done. I put the blanket together on the Wednesday and decided I wanted to put three more squares together. So then on the Thursday I made the other three squares and finished putting them together. And then last night, which was Friday night, I sewed in all the ends. It's so, so pink. Let me show you. So it's just a very simple granny square design. It's got three squares wide by four squares in length and the squares are oops, let's show you one that isn't neon and that's going to fuzz out it's just a giant granny square and I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 12 rounds, in the centre you've got 7 rounds of the colour in a block and then I do 5 rounds of the candy floss pink in style craft and then I've done join as you go 1 round in this brighter pink that I had left over from the Lark's foot blanket and then I've done 1 row of granny stripe as a border. Each square has got a different centre so we've got like a bright yellow, we've got lilac and mauve, mauve rather pink, that's a glitter pink, <laughs> I've got baby yellow, I've got the pink that I did the joining in the border with, I've got glitter white, I think that's just going to, oh there we go, um, I've got like a raspberry pink which again I think that is style craft, I've got glitter lilac, um, that's definitely raspberry style craft. Then I've got this orangey coral, which is blowing out a little. Um, and then like a neon pink, and then just a plain cream. I wanted it to be something quite simple to work on, because of the time constraints and all honesty. Um, if you do recall, or if not, go watch it after. The squares in there, they were all different types. So I was going to make myself a big blanket and I decided it was going to be really busy, loads of different types of squares. There was like five different types in there. And I put them all out on the floor to look at them spread out and I just really didn't like it. And so I decided the ones I did like were the ones with the big centres like this. 
Um, and so I decided to make some more to finish it off. So it's a really light blanket, it's all double knit. It folds up really small, but it's actually really warm. And it's big enough that as she's three Monday, it's gonna grow, like she's got room to grow under this. Um, and it can sit on the end of her bed. So I'm actually seeing her later this afternoon and I'm gonna give this to her and hopefully she will love it. And hopefully our mum will like it as well. So this pattern's called Birthday Girl. Um, I'm gonna put it on Patreon for anyone that wants to use it. And then after 30 days, I might just put it on Ravelry so that if any of you want to make a little blanket like this for anyone in your life, then the recipe will be there. Um, you could easily make this much, much bigger, and I can work out the measurements for you to go on a bigger size bed or to have it as a throw size. And I have thought about making a birthday boy version because there is some male birthdays coming up soon. Um, and I really wanna make that in sort of a selection of greys. So let me know if you want the pattern and I'll get that posted on the site for free for you. And one thing I do need to do to this is add on the tags, my tags, which are down here. So I've got, I ordered these tags from JS Lasercraft. And they are just leather tags with my little logo, HG. Um, and this just needs sewing on. So I'm going to quickly do that now whilst you're here with me. Um, so all I've got is just a length of the colour that I joined it with. And I'm just going to thread my darning needle and put this on. So this blanket was so, so quick to make. Um, as I said, I pretty much had all of the blank the squares done in sort of one, yeah, in like one day. Um, I think definitely you could make all the squares for this size over a weekend, no problem. And then I, what else did I do? This needle's too big. Great. Um, let's see if I can find another one. I took some footage of me joining this blanket and making it, so I'll put some of that in now. such a quick project and I would definitely recommend it if you have a deadline coming up um, and it was super easy to make so I would definitely make another one um, it's all just double craft double craft double knit yarn so it's uh, machine washable which is great for a child um, okay 
I've just put the label on. Can you see it? So now it's complete. I can wrap it and she can have it. So as I was saying, it's a really, really simple blanket to make. The squares I could have easily got done in the space of a weekend, no problem. Um, I joined it all in the space of, I would say, I probably put about four hours in on joining it. Um, and then the border, well, within that I did the border as well. And then I probably spent about two hours sewing the ends in last night but i had already done some of the ends on the squares as i've gone along previously so really you could get this done in a long weekend um if you're in a time if you're in a bit more of a time crush i think i could have got this done in a weekend if i'd actually sat and really like applied myself to it um so yeah this is birthday girl and i really really like it and it's got my tag on it now as well. <laughs> it's the first blanket to have my tag on it. So I'm going to give this to my niece Kyra later. And hopefully I'll get a picture of her with it. It's so soft. I kind of, I will be a little bit sad to see it go. Um, so yes. That is my finished project for this week. Um, we can move on to works in progress. Um, I'm still working on Enamoured. I'm still working on the striped version. I had hoped by now that it'd be with testers. I have put a shout out for testers and there's a link in my Instagram. If you click in the link, there will be, um, there's a, a button for all the different things. So testers, my Ravelry, YouTube, this, everything's on there. If you click through, then you can sign up to be a tester. Um, thank you so much for those that already have. And I will let you know already that the sleeves are being a bit tricky and um, really I don't think the 30th is a realistic release date. Today is the 15th of September I think. Um, now this weekend the only project that is on my to-do list is Enamoured. I just need to finish a sleeve that I'm happy with then I can do the measurements and send it out to testers but until that point well, up until sort of last night, I was just getting myself in a tiz and really stressing about it, trying to get this done um, and then trying to get enamoured done. And sleeves, I just have a bit of a love-hate relationship with them. Um, if you recall, I was trying to get rid of the Frankenstein effect down there, which I've, I have done, but then I'm not happy with the way I've done it in the round and now I want to do another version, which I have started. Um, so in the moment I've got like five sleeves for enamoured that are all going to need ripping down. Um, so that is still going to be released. I'm still working on it. I want to wear enamoured to Yarndale, which is the 29th of September. Um, but to give the testers enough time, I might not be able to release on the 30th. But that's okay, it's just a big build up to the first release of my first pattern. Um, so if you do want to test, please sign up. Um, I think I need, I wanted a couple more. If anybody wants to do small or the medium size, then let me know. Um, that would be really, really helpful. Then as for the striped version, I did do the sleeves. And I'm not sure, I think I've shown you the sleeves. <sighs> Again, the sleeves. I think I'm gonna need some sort of slogan about how sleeves are an issue but it's okay because you can put your tissues in them. I don't know, there's something not as whack as that, but sleeves are a bit of a nemesis. But anyway, the enamoured sleeves, no, the striped sleeves, I was on a roll with them and I got both of them done. Just sew one in to realise that I needed to offset the patch so they actually sat on my elbow and not in the middle of the... <sighs> so that needs new sleeves as well. Um, yeah. Come on guys, we need some slogans about sleeves. <laughs> Once those are done, both of them will be ready to go to testers and then I can release them. Uh, my other works in progress are, hmm, what am I working on? The squares for the square drop, which you will have seen in my other vlogs. Okay tribe, this is gonna be the first drop 
of the HDDC patch of Happy. I've got about 10 squares. They're all tagged up, ready to roll. Um, and they all have the hashtags written on the back. So this one says spreading hope, hashtag HDDC patch of happy, tag me. And it's got this vibrant lime green, yellow, and a little bit of orange. So I'm going to drop these all off at the Birmingham Vegan Festival. Um, I wonder who's going to find them. HDDC patch of happy. Um, but in case you haven't, I've got lots of these little squares, granny squares, that I've been dropping all over the place. I did my first batch at the vegan yarn festival, that wasn't a yarn festival, at the vegan festival in Birmingham last Saturday. Um, it's just a granny square on my tag and then on the back um, I've got hashtag HGDC patch of happy. And this one says spreading kindness. Um, and I have got a big wadge of them for Yarndale and I've been dropping them in and around Leicester where I live. And the plan is wherever I go until the squares run out. Don't worry they're not going to run out anytime soon. That's all squares. Until the squares run out um, I'm going to drop them wherever I go. So if you find one then you can ha use the hashtag HGDC patch of happy. Um, and just go have a look at the hashtag as and when people find them. So that's another ongoing work in progress. Um, and every now and then I'm just going to put out some footage of me just dropping them all around the place and people finding them and their comments. Um, and then other works in progress. I'm testing a shawl, but I don't know if I can tell you about that. So that's being kept quiet for now. Um, and I... I'm gearing up to working towards my scarf that I want to make. So there isn't a lot to show you today, but I do have a finished object, so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to sign off for now. Um, it's another little short blog, which I've recorded in conjunction with my Yarndale plans, and they'll be going out around the same time. Um, I will be back the following weekend. And then the weekend after that, you will start to see a lot of my Yarndale vlogs. So make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you put a thumbs up, and let me know if you want this pattern. Happy making! Oh,